Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. I'm, of course, Gregory Guy, joined here by Mr. Casey, Mr. Cuz, and, you know, for your viewing pleasure, we will present our next iteration of Bang Head Stem. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you, Mr. Cuz. What are we going to talk about here today? Robots doing surgery with minimal human interaction on soft tissue. That is interesting that you actually bring that up because when it was told to me what because I'm getting my gallbladder taken out the robots gonna, it's going to be done by a robot what? you're taking our what? jabs <laughs> you're taking our jabs America seriously your, your gallbladder is going to be taken out by a robot yes like actually taken out? Like 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 a robotic surgical arm kind of thing? Or like are they going to just well, inject now, you with I'll, nanites and let them eat your gallbladder? I, I don't remember exactly the name of, the, of what they're going to do, but they said one of the words in that name is robotic. So for this, there's actually two arms. You know, you know how they have the two arms where the robots kind of put cars together? Right. It's built the same way. So there's one on either side. It can't do the initial cut, so humans have to do that still. So they have to make a big insertion before the robots can actually get, get to work. So that part is still... There you go. You're going to have a huge... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a huge... They're going to cut from your heart down to your dick. <laughs> you get your <laughs> actually, they, so they said they are going to make three different incisions. Well, that's more like orthoscopic. Yeah, they brought yeah. up with blue. Right. But anyway. Well, yeah. this is this is laparoscopic. Laparoscopic. Yeah. There you go. You heard it first. Small decisions. Right. Fair. Anything else? Are you, are you guys gonna stare at me or questions or what? Oh. No, nah, I'm not. Okay. Gonna, I'm good. <laughs> this this machine is called Star. What's it stand for? Star? I'm glad you asked, Ken. <laughs> Let me tell you what star means. Star Jones. <laughs> Smart Tissue Autonomous Robot. Okay. Star, I, it's, as soon as I hear star, I think of Resident Evil. Stars. No, oh, that's... that's uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that like the name of the police department? Yeah, yeah. Name of the well, it was a special oh, okay. task special. force. Something, something. So, in the latest research they did, by the way, this is being studied at John Hopkins. Right so, down the road? Yep. yep, yep, yep. Right so, on. in the latest study, they did it in a pig, and they reconnected the two ends of an intestine, and it did it with better precision. Actually, the pig is the fourth animal subject. Or we'll call him patient. For <laughs> he's a subject, but he's the fourth animal. Yeah, I, I don't think you can really call it a patient at this point. Uh, your 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 test subject was it a guinea pig? <laughs> I don't know, but there was three other animals. So so far, they've done it on four animals, and each time, aside from the initial uh, cut, this this robot has done it. Better than any human can do, because of the, the tedious nature of this uh, surgery. So this surgery apparently is the most challenging surgery that can be done in your gastro gastrointestinal surgery. Uh, the slightest twitch of your hand or the misplaced of a stitch can have catastrophic outcomes on a patient and the robots do it way better than any human can every time so far. And it's just like a gastrointestinal kind of thing, right? Is well, I, I, I imagine they can probably program it to do anything. As long as they line up the, the, the bed and the patient and all that stuff. So, so, so like, okay. if, the, if, the, if there may be human error there still. <laughs> How long before they program it to do brain surgery? I don't know. That. No idea. Well, 
that's a that, that's a totally different surgery. Gastrointestinal. Let's see, we're just replacing ourselves with robots. That's really what. That's why I was intrigued by this subject. Why don't you go ahead and have a dream about that one tonight? <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> now, so this is the first robot. Star is the first robot to plan, adapt, and execute a surgical plan on soft tissue with minimal human assistance. So it begins. So it's basically a CNC machine that can do <laughs> pretty much a, a, a complex. That's kind of what I. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. For the most part. I think does, uh, does, does that does that worry does that worry anyone other than me? Not at all, because matter of fact, no, I just downloaded. Doesn't. This is probably going to worry both of you, but I just downloaded a CNC thing today, Fusion three hundred and sixty. Because I'm going to help my dad. Uh, I, I thought it would be like I downloaded Surgeon Simulator 2. Oh, no, later. no. But if you put this puzzle piece together, it, I'm going to be teaching my dad how to program. What, a CNC machine? <laughs> yeah, it's new. Because he's still got 2D software at his job. Oh, wow. So now I have to help him learn 3D software. What I'm getting at is people like me are going to be programming. Now that's the part that worries, that's the part that worries me. I'm not a surgeon, but I'm a programmer. I, I, I don't by my I'm just start locking my doors at night. I don't, I don't think you're stupid. Huh? I don't think you're stupid. I think I think I think you act goofy, but other than that, oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you're a smart person. Ish. <laughs> to an extent, you're smart. Ish. <laughs> On certain things. Not a genius, but capable. I'm too lazy to be a fucking genius. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I won't put in the effort to be There you genius. go. Hard hurt first. Lazy motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway, do we got anything else? No, that's it. Nope, that's it. Okay, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Banghead Stem. We talked about um, robots taking over the world. Because if they take over, <sighs> so this is this is in the same realm of this. Okay. But they say that the only thing that robots can never take away. As a matter of fact, the number one job that they predict is therapists. That robots can't I don't take think... the job because of emotions in humans. They like, right. it's going to be really hard to program emotions into robots. <laughs> I mean, a, a robot could talk to you. Look, okay, <laughs> I'm going to debunk that right now. No, I'm going to debunk you because I've read books and right. studies. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. You mean your opinion on it? Yes, okay. my opinion. Go ahead. Like I said, but hear me out. They could totally do away with any type of, like, you know, therapist. You know how? They just replace them with a sex robot. Did everyone work out their frustrations or whatever on the sex robot. And how are you feeling? <laughs> Just the hole opens up on the robot. <laughs> My name is Penelope 3.0. Welcome to my sex dungeon. Tell me, I, I mean, uh, there will be no more laying on the couch for an hour. You just go in and fucking handle business and be out in five minutes. Well, then you wouldn't go there at all. You just have your own. Well, I mean, you know, that's where I take the market. I mean, oh yeah! I if, if sex robots come out, I that's the one thing I will invest in. <laughs> that's that's the one thing I will. I know that's gonna happen. <laughs> well, I I don't need the robot for sex. I need it for cleaning the house and doing the dishes and cooking me food. <laughs> you don't want a hand job from your refrigerator? That seems like a way to get a hand job. What am I gonna eat? Hello, master. Well, okay. <laughs> First of all, if anything, it should be the toaster oven, not the goddamn refrigerator, because that oh. should be cold. And so you want it super hot? I mean, just I mean, a little warm. That's why I said toaster oven. Slightly warm. Well, that's what batteries would probably do. With your batteries. Okay, what, are you going to put batteries in your refrigerator? Come on, man. You going to put it in your toaster? No, you just plug the toaster in. And then it reaches out with its fucking robotic arm and fucking jerks you off. Just gets up with little metal legs and comes and sucks you off. After, after, it's like, after it's like 90 degrees, you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we go from robots doing surgery, surgery. to sex robots. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's something about robots, man. I just got to go down the sex robot road. I don't know. I think it's the future. Hey, man. Like I said, if they ever need back <laughs> backing, <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this winds up getting clipped. But anyway, there we go. Our next iteration of <laughs> Manghead Stem. I'm of course Gregor Guy, joined here by Mr. Casey, Mr. Coz. Thanks for putting that together, Mr. Coz. I thought it was interesting. It um, it was something. Casey's so, gonna. Casey's gonna. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen out there watching, have a lovely day. <laughs>